Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to reset MySQL auto increment column value. So uh, let's uh, uh, create this table and then we will uh, run different uh, scenarios on that. Uh, we have a customer table here and uh, uh, the column uh, for uh, auto increment is the uh, ID customer. You can see right here. Okay, so that means that every time we insert a value in this table, uh, the value for uh, ID customer should increase uh, automatically. Okay, that's what it is happening here. We are not using an uh, ID column here, but it's uh, uh, automatically increasing. Uh, and we don't have to insert the values in auto increment column as well. Okay, now we can see that the value is from 1 to 5. Now, there are multiple scenarios. If somebody go ahead and delete the data from uh, this uh, table, uh, will that reset uh, the ID uh, auto increment uh, uh, column value? So the answer is a uh, no. So if I will say delete from customer, we'll delete all the records from this table. And uh, we go ahead and uh, take a look. All the records are deleted. Now, if we insert the records back, uh, uh, instead of uh, starting from a one, uh, that's the uh, default uh, starting uh, like always start from the one and then keep incrementing. It is starting from six. Uh, so remember what was the we had five records when we deleted all the data. So it took the uh, max from there and started from the next number. Uh, so delete does not reset uh, the auto increment uh, column value. Okay. Second part, uh, you can use the truncate table. So we can use the truncate table customer and to be honest with you if, uh, um, if the table is huge I would go ahead and use the truncate but there could be scenarios where you have primary key and foreign key and uh, you can't really do that so uh, you can uh, disable uh, uh, the prim primary key foreign key checks or uh, uh, script it out and delete uh, uh, the entire table and recreate it if uh, that's a scenario like where you can do that but otherwise I mean you can use a truncate table uh, if there is no foreign key and our relationship there truncate table what it will do it will delete all the data and then uh, also it will reset the identity column so let's go ahead and take a look um, we will insert the values again and now you will see that the values start again from 1 okay so truncate does uh, reset uh, the value for auto increment uh, now the last scenario we are going to discuss it if you want to go ahead and change directly so if you notice here if i'm saying alter table uh, customer and then uh, auto increment one i can do that but before that uh, let me uh, actually let me do this so here what we are saying uh, alter table customer and the auto increment to start from 100 we are jumping uh, we are leaving all these values we have a uh, one to five but next uh, time uh, what we will do we will want to set to 100 so every new insert will start uh, from 100 and then keep going so now if we go and insert this value and uh, select the data it should be starting with 100 and uh, then we have 101 100 and 4 okay so that's uh, doable when uh, you want to say alter table table name auto increment uh, and start from specific number remember that uh, when uh, we had the values uh, so we had values till 5 there and uh, we changed to 100 so that was uh, greater 100 is greater than 5 so it did uh, took the effect now if i will change back to let's say if i will change back to two or even one and say oh let me change back to one and next time my value should start from one it's not going to happen so if uh, your values the, the values you have in table uh, for automatic increment is uh, greater than what you are changing here uh, that it's not going to do anything so if i will go ahead and insert uh, these records again even we change to one but uh, nothing will happen and uh, still uh, we will get the records uh, after 104 uh, so just remember that uh, if you want to set to something different uh, you have to go bigger number from the uh, auto increment uh, column value so here is 109 right so if i want to go ahead and say jump i want to jump to thousand uh, is possible but if i want to go ahead and say oh no i want to start from uh, number three so this is already three there and uh, this number is anyways the this is large number than three so it's not going to reset to three so for uh, take the max value what you have there and then you can uh, 
change to another uh, value that's greater than that max value so that uh, uh, can happen for auto increment but for so uh, for the smaller value from this max value uh, from the auto increment is not going to work um, all right i hope this video will help uh, and uh, i will see you guys in the next video